Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can set up a Node.js server on Ubuntu hosted on Amazon Web Services. So simply click the link in the description box to come to this marketplace listing for Amazon and from here you want to create a new EC2 virtual machine with this particular image. Now this image comes with pre-installed Node.js and Node.js server. So from this page, simply click on continue to subscribe. and then. From this product page, you want to accept the terms and wait for the subscription validation process to complete. Once the subscription validation is done, simply click on continue to configuration. After that, from this page simply choose the AMI, choose the software version and the region where you want to deploy your virtual machine. And when you are satisfied, simply click on continue to launch. After that, you would be brought to this page from where you have two different options. You can launch the EC2 virtual machine from either this website or from the EC2 management console. So I'm going to shift to EC2 management console and then click on launch. So that should open up the EC2 management console in a new tab. Now in this tab, we can customize our virtual machine. So give your virtual machine a name. So I'm going to call mine as node hyphen server. And then make sure that the image is the one that you got from the link in the description box. Scroll down, choose the instance type according to your requirements. Scroll down, choose the key pair by either creating a new key pair or by choosing an already existing one. Remember that this is the key pair that you would be using to connect to the SSH terminal of your virtual machine. Now scroll down and leave the security group settings as default. And when you are satisfied with the settings, simply click on launch instance. Now you have to wait for the deployment process to complete. Once the deployment is complete, it prompts you that an instance was successfully launched. So now click on view all instances. Now this virtual machine with the name node server in the pending state is our newly created virtual machine. So simply wait for it to change its state from pending to running. When in running state, we can move on to the next step which is to connect to the SSH terminal of our virtual machine. So simply right click on our virtual machine and then click on connect. From the SSH client tab, simply copy this command and paste it inside the command prompt or a powershell. And then simply replace this path for the path where you have downloaded your private key. After replacing the path, simply hit enter and when you are prompted type in yes and hit enter once more and then your command prompt will be connected to the SSH terminal of your virtual machine. Now inside this SSH terminal, the very first thing that we want to do is that we want to verify the installation of Node.js. For that, simply type in the command node space hyphen v and then hit enter. So that is going to print out the version of Node.js installed on our virtual machine. So we are currently running 10.19.0. Next up, we can open up the shell for node by simply typing in the command node. And then we can simply run some basic commands like console dot log and in here we can type comments like hello world and then hit enter and as you can see it prints out the hello world statement onto the terminal now simply exit from the shell by simply pressing ctrl c twice and then we are going to show you how to implement a very basic web server for node.js so we are going to create a new directory and we're going to call it node underscore demo and then we're going to cd inside this directory so cd space node underscore demo and then in this directory we are going to create a new index.js file so simply type in the command sudo nano index.js and then hit enter now inside this js file we are going to copy commands from this website which is the official website by node.js and this command is to set up a basic hello world http server so simply copy these commands and paste it inside our ssh terminal and then control o hit enter and then control x to save and exit from the file and by the way the link to this node.js website would be in the description box as well now all we have to do is that we want to run this index.js file so the command is node space index.js and then hit enter so it says that the server is running at port number 3000 now to get the results from this web server we are going to head back to ec2 management console we are going to click on instances we are going to choose our virtual machine and copy this public IPv4 address and we're going to paste this address in a new tab and then add in the port number 3000 and then hit enter and we get a result hello world which is from the node.js server anyways that brings us to the end of this video now if you have any queries regarding this tutorial make sure to leave that query in the comment section down below and we will get to you as soon as possible and make sure to check out the link in the description box for the marketplace listing for amazon web services for node.js server and also for the step-by-step -step blog post guide on how to set up Node.js server on Amazon Web Services.
And finally, if this video has helped you in any way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.